Hello all, Shoestring here. I was out at my battery compartment here in my shed where I keep my all my solar equipment and my batteries and my charge controller which I've been showing people. At the moment you can see I am charging up my Aerobi battery for my Aerobi lawnmower. No gas, no oil, and it works really, really well for me. All charged, of course, on my solar system. You can see right there. See, it's running. My little notebook so I can keep track of what we're doing. Where are we at now? Oh, boy. 14.8, 0 watts, 76 watts. It depends if 4.9 coming in. And it just gives the situation how much amp hours I've been using, how much voltage coming in compared to what's going out. Anyway, that's not why we're here today. We're here today because I've had several people ask me, how do they charge up their batteries if they don't have a solar system? The answer is, of course, use a battery charger. But any, anything seems simple once you know how to do it. So this is hooked up to a charge controller, and it's hooked up to my Harbor Freight 45-watt system, which is charging this battery. But what if I didn't have the solar system? I still wanted to use this battery or a group of batteries if there was a blackout. Well, the answer is, of course, you use a charge controller. You use a charge controller, like I said, if you have solar. If you don't, then you use a battery charger. This is another inexpensive item from Harbor Freight. You can see it there. Sentech battery charger. I got it for a very low price. It's very easy to use. And I'm going to walk you through some of it right now. Okay. So as you can see, it has wire connecting light. It has a light with green when fully charged. Sometimes it looks white. Also shows you the battery charge 100% all the way to zero. It has battery type, regular or AGM. This is really important. You know what type of battery you have. This is a flood acid right here. So it is a regular. You know that because it has caps on it where you can put in the water. And you please keep your water levels up. You'll damage the battery if you don't. But that's how you know it's flood acid and therefore it is regular. And of course you have your emergency engine start, which we will never use on our solar. We have our quick charge, which I practically never use. I almost always use number two trickle charge. So it is down on number two, the green. So let's take a look here. It has a positive and negative connection. As you can see, positive red, negative black, and then a cord where you connect it to the house power. Walk over here. Ex excuse the uh, mess in my shed. It's also my workshop. Okay, so it is plugged in. A good safety device on this is that it doesn't do anything. It does no power at all till you connect it to a battery. So even plugged into the wall, it is safe. Now we're going to disconnect the charge controller, which of course will make the battery yell. Oh, actually it's the charge controller that's yelling. And we will connect the battery. We will do negative. And we will do the positive. It comes on. It shows red because it is trying to trickle charge the battery. See that? This moved down here. And the light, hopefully you can see the light, is red, which means it is trickle charging it. And simply what we do is we keep it plugged in and we keep charging this battery 
with the house power. Okay, I know what some of you are thinking. That shed of yours is run by solar. Yes, okay, it is solar power, but if it was connected to the house, it would be the principle is the same, right? You plug it into the wall, and there it is. And you will keep it plugged in until the light turns green. Now, how do we show you that? Pretty easy. We're going to take this not button, this little, and we're going to move it from the green to the blue. See how that turned green? Because it is fully charged as far as the quick charge is concerned. Green, 100% charged. But it will still take a little bit more power, which is why I always trickle charge it like that. Because we want our battery entirely topped off. Okay, so there it is. A real quick class on how to use the battery charger. Feel free to take a look at Harbor Freight's battery chargers. I know Harbor Freight gets beat up a lot. But their systems are quick. They're easy. They're inexpensive. And face it, folks, they work. No, I'm not sponsored by Harbor Freight. No one sponsors me. I just like to show you folks what I use. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comments. Subscribe, like, and share. And Shoestring out.